Whenever you consider EMF-emitting devices, the first things which come to mind are likely to be your mobile phone or microwave oven. You may not easily think of EMF light bulbs. But this common domestic item really emits a large amount of EMF radiation. For those people that wish to lower the levels of EMF in the household, great consideration must be given to the kind of light bulbs used. Light bulbs and EMF. There are many ways in which EMF is produced by light bulbs. There are now some Wi-Fi enabled smart bulbs, and the more these devices are present in your household, the greater the levels of EMF. Bluetooth is used by other smart bulbs, but this also has a risky rate of emission of radiation. EMF light bulbs also result in higher levels of EMF by producing dirty electricity. Less electricity is consumed by newer bulbs, resulting in energy efficiency, making them really popular. Yet, despite consuming less electricity, the unused electricity continues to flow through the wires in the household. Some of which return to the wiring to create something referred to as dirty electricity, which has a high level of EMF radiation emission. Dirty electricity can be determined with the use of an EMF gauge. Excess electricity can be measured by taking meter reading while all lights are on and again while all lights are off. Higher results while the lights were on indicates the presence of dirty electricity in the household. Safe light bulbs. With regards to EMF, the safest bulbs one can make use of are incandescent bulbs. They produce only a little dirty electricity or none at all. Since they were designed to be compatible with most household wiring. Also, the fact that they are not Bluetooth or Wi-Fi enabled means they are less likely to produce EMF. Despite not lasting as long, or even energy efficient in comparison to other bulbs, incandescent bulbs are somewhat cheaper. Unsafe light bulbs. If you can, stay away from Wi-Fi or Bluetooth-enabled smart bulbs. Besides being LED-based which causes dirty electricity, EMF is produced separately by its wireless signal. If you want to lower exposure generally, you should make use of low EMF light bulbs which do not include these. Similarly, you should avoid any bulbs which produce dirty electricity, such as CFL and LED bulbs which just were not designed for the modern-day household wiring. Remote-controlled bulbs are also to be avoided. Often sold as a single bulb or light strips, they produce EMF radiations from their remote control as well as dirty electricity. Decreasing exposure. The use of low EMF light bulbs to decrease exposure is essential to avoiding the health-related problems of EMF radiation. Incandescent bulbs are the best option. They are not very energy efficient, however, all you need to do is turn off the lights when they are not needed. So as to save on the electricity bill. If you have to, use smart bulbs, LED bulbs, or CFL bulbs only sparingly. Ensure they are positioned away from chairs, nightstands, and any other place where people might get in close contact with them. It can be challenging to reduce the overall level of EMF in the household. Low EMF light bulbs are a necessity to achieve this. And this can be done effectively with the use of incandescent bulbs. For more information emfprotectiontips.com